Hey Ingram Spark community. Welcome to another help video with Lee. Ingram Spark supports standard industry conventions by allowing publishers to designate their titles as returnable or non-returnable. Publishers can choose one of three returns options when they set up a new title and can change it anytime afterward. There are three returns options to choose from. No or non-returnable, an option available in all markets. Yes deliver, available in the U.S. market and Canada, and Yes Destroy, available in all markets except Global Connect. If you select No, that means your book is non-returnable and you are not taking any financial risk of having books returned. However, most bookstores and retailers will not stock a title that is not returnable. If you are unsure about offering your book as non-returnable, you can select No for now and change to a returnable status later if needed. If a book is returnable, a bookseller can purchase the book from a distributor or wholesaler such as Ingram and return any unsold or unwanted copies. Most booksellers require the books they stock in their store to be returnable. It's less risky for them, but more of a risk for you as the publisher. Returnable books can be returned at any time and for any reason. For privacy reasons, we are unable to share where the returns came from. Ingram's Bark offers two returnable options, Yes Deliver and Yes Destroy. Yes Destroy means that when we receive those returns, we charge the wholesale cost of the books to you and recycle the books into pulp. Yes Deliver indicates that you would like for the return books to be shipped back to you. We charge you the wholesale cost and a delivery fee for each book. For returns to addresses in the United States, the delivery fee is $3 per book, and for returns to international addresses or from Canada to a United States address, it's $20 per book. If you want your books to be returnable and the returns address is not in the United States, we strongly suggest choosing Yes Destroy for books in the U.S. and Canada markets, as the cost to print is typically less expensive than the delivery fee. We do not guarantee the condition of returned books. Books with a Yes Deliver return status will be shipped to the return address specified on your account at our discretion. The returns address must be a physical street address and cannot be a P.O. box. Ensure this address stays current so your books ship to the correct place. You can edit this address in your account information tab located in the top right corner of your account. Something to also consider is if you enable distribution of your title with a returnable status, then later decide to change that status to a no, your book will still be returnable for 180 days. This also applies if you decide to cancel your title. These changes can act as a trigger and cause booksellers to return all unsold books. So, if you want to change your return status or cancel your title, make sure you are financially prepared to receive returns. You can also change the return status from non-returnable to returnable, but any books purchased while your book was non-returnable can be returned to us once your book is made returnable. Return books and delivery fees are registered on the print sales report in your account and deducted from your publisher compensation earnings. If there isn't enough compensation to cover the deduction, then the remainder may be invoiced to you for payment. Let's look at how the cost of returns are calculated. In this example, you set the retail price for the book at $21.99. You select the wholesale discount you want to offer. This is the discount wholesalers and distribution partners receive, not the discount that bookstores receive. We suggest a 53-55% to 55 discount so bookstores will receive their regular discount. This gives us a wholesale price the distribution partners pay us when they buy the book. In this example, the wholesale price is $10.34. From that, we deduct the print cost. For this example, the cost for a 6x9, 400-page black and white interior paperback book with color cover would be $6.18. This leaves us with $4.16 the amount of compensation earnings paid for each book sold. If the book is returned, we charge the wholesale price for that book to you, which is what the wholesaler or distribution partner paid us, 
plus applicable delivery fees if the book is to be returned to you. This means you pay back the compensation you earned and the print cost for the book we printed. Please keep in mind that we will charge the wholesale price set at the time we receive the return, so be careful when updating your wholesale discount or list price. If a book sells at a higher discount, but is later returned with a lower discount set, it could mean that you are charged more than what was originally paid for that book. We have no way to determine what pricing was used when each book was sold, which is why we use the current pricing when we receive returns. Deciding to accept returns is something you should carefully consider. If you'd like to learn more, I recommend visiting our Help Center article, Distribution Returns Information. Thanks for joining us, and make sure you check out our other help videos to keep learning. Good luck, and happy publishing!